guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today. I'm finally doing my weight loss update video. Oh my gosh, I've owed this to you guys for so long. Let me just start from the beginning. The light seems to be kind of dipping in and out, so sorry about that. Please bear with me. The cloud looks like it'll be passing soon. Anyway, so basically, a year, two years ago, I was at my heaviest weight I've ever been. This was the weight I was at before I even started a weight loss journey, before I even openly started talking about like my weight or anything. I had weighed myself and I was 100 and around 180 pounds I think this was about two years ago I think one or two years ago sorry that I'm not good with dates and memorization but I have been tracking all of my weight loss journey in videos so I will put my video playlist um, down below it's on my main page of my channel also but I'll link all my videos too of my different weight loss update videos so if you want to kind of go back and see my progression it's pretty crazy I'm gonna do some before and afters for you guys as well so you can kind of see like you know what my journey's been like, um, I don't know. <laughs> can't believe that sun really left, that's a bunch of bullshit. Uh, yeah, but basically, like I said, I had weighed myself one to two years ago, and I weighed about 180 pounds, and I was just, like, really upset about it, not to, not to get down on that weight or get down on a number. I don't think there was anything wrong with me then, but I didn't feel the best. I, you know, like I said in my past video, clothes don't fit right, um... I just didn't feel right. I didn't like how makeup looked on my face. I felt like my face shape was strange. My contour was not right. You know what I mean? I just feel like when you have all that other weight, there's so many things that just you can't quite pinpoint what's not right, but something's not right and it's just not working. I knew that I needed to like change everything. And so the, basically I just did. And again, if you're looking for advice on how to get started and if you want to know my first steps that I took to lose the weight, I'll put my original weight loss video in the bottom box because a lot of people find it really motivating. So from there, I just basically started eating a lot cleaner. I was working out on my own and I started a few fitness apps, one being the Couch to 5K program. Um, that's like, you know, a running program on your phone. It turns you into a couch potato, from a couch potato to a 5k runner, which is really great. It's actually what I credit most of my weight loss to. Everybody loves my fitness pal, and I did like that as well. The other one, um, Blogilates. I love our Popilates. I love the Blogilates app, and yeah, so I was doing a lot of that. I also changed my diet, like, very seriously. I cut out basically as much processed food as I can. I even tried to go vegan for a little while, but it was really hard and I know I know there's always going to be excuses and and it's of course it's hard um but I have I've unfortunately gone back to not being a vegan <laughs> and pretty much a vegetarian for the most part. I do eat fish. I've been eating fish. I've been eating tuna. I don't know why I'm going through like a huge tuna phase and like salmon and yeah so um if i need meat if i have that feeling where like i feel like i really need meat i usually eat tuna or salmon or like any type of fish or something like that um but i like to just get like the little starfish bag like to eat <laughs> i like to eat it right out of the bag i know i'm really really sick or i like to put it on crackers or sandwich or bread or you know what have you but so i've really really cleaned up my eating habits no soda i really try to cut down on my soda because i love soda i let myself have it probably once a week if that, I'll show you guys actually what I really switched out for soda and when I it's making like honking noises. It's really funny. As you guys know, drinking a lot of water is like totally key for weight loss and just for living at all, I guess. Um, so when I feel like I literally cannot take any more water, because I drink a lot. I drink water all day long. All I do is keep refilling bottles, refill bottles, refill bottles, and just keep drinking. So honestly, I couldn't tell you guys how much water I drink. I probably drink like like three of these of water a day but sometimes you just get like you're like okay no more water and that's when I start drinking these little sparkling waters um this one's from Target it's the strawberry lemonade that I've been liking zero calories um obviously you know this is not good it's not as good as regular water for you this is like carbonated and all this stuff um so yeah you know I prefer to drink water or fruit infused water but like sometimes you just need like need to feel like you're doing something bad and I feel like this is like the closest thing to bad that's still good. I don't know. Okay, all that being said, the last time I checked in with you guys I weighed 120 pounds and I'm happy to say I still weigh 120 pounds today. A lot of people have said that I look thinner and that I, some people are like, oh she's losing too much weight. I don't 
think that's the case <laughs> at all. I have not lost any more weight since my last weight loss update video. And that's kind of why I felt like weird making this update, you know what I mean? Because I haven't lost any more weight, so I, I almost just felt like I have nothing to say, you guys. But, um, I've, you know, people still have questions, so I want to answer those. But I think what people are noticing, maybe, is that I'm just getting a little more toned. Um, and not by, I mean, not by any means. Like, I barely have, like, any, mu I'm getting there. Like, you see, I'm, like, getting it's not, it's not much, it's not much, but I'm getting there. I think people are just starting to maybe see like a little more definition, like my bone, my collarbone shows a little bit more than it ever has, and like my face I think is a little bit um, just thinner, like I notice like I feel like my jawline is like a little bit like tighter than it ever has been before, so I think maybe people are noticing my toning, and I think what I'm actually doing, so maybe it's not that I'm, maybe I'm still losing fat, but I'm actually building muscle, and so that's why it looks like I haven't lost weight, but I've, it's probably something along those lines, right? Like, so I think, yeah, I think like I said, I've just been swapping fat for muscle maybe, and um, I'm, it's just kind of like slimming me out, but I'm excited. It's nice to be, to work on being more toned and a little healthier looking. Because I don't want to be like, you know, I don't want to look like sickly. I don't want to look skinny. I want to look healthy. I want to look really strong. I want to look like I could kick your ass. Like, that's totally what I want. I'm sorry this video is so long, you guys. We're going to jump into the Q&A portion now. This is what I was most excited about because... I think it's just gonna be best to kind of hear you guys' questions and I can answer them and hopefully help you out. I think it's a good time for us to go on into a Snapchat and we're gonna see what some people are asking in my Snapchat. So Snapchat fam, thank you guys so much. So the first question is by Zeka and she said, my fitness question is, how did you avoid loose skin and how many times a week do you work out and for how long? That is seriously such a good question and to be honest with you, I don't know how to avoid loose skin because if I'm being honest, I feel like it's like a problem and I'm probably being more self-conscious of it than I need to be. I feel like it's a problem I have. Like I feel like my skin looks loose um, and I just feel like it doesn't look good. So all I can say is um, I'm just really working on toning, really work on toning. You want to make sure that you are losing weight in a healthy way because if you drop too much weight too rapidly, that's when your skin can get a little saggy and loose. You need to be working on those muscles and, you know, really be burning that fat instead of bringing your body into cannibalism draw do you know what I mean so it's basically so let's just say this if you guys starve yourselves your body goes into cannibalism mode and it's gonna start eating the thing like p eating parts of your body that you need you know or that you would want um, and that's how your skin can start to look a little more loose I mean you obviously it'll look loose if you lose a ton of weight anyway sometimes that just happens that's just a part of life and there are a ton of exercises they say that help I whether they do or not I don't really know if you can tighten skin with exercise, I've been looking into them myself because like I said, it's mostly in like my arms and stuff that I feel like my I don't like how my skin looks. And that's a tough one. I think just making sure you're losing weight at a healthy pace and in a healthy way so your body isn't eating itself from the inside and kind of making things crazy. Okay, and for my workout routine, you guys, as of late the past month to two months, I was pretty lazy when it comes to my workout routine. My workout routine hasn't changed, by the way, you guys. So that's why I haven't filmed an updated one because it's the same one I've been doing. I have it on my channel. I'll link it in the bottom box for you guys. Um, but if I'm being honest, I was really stressed out the past few months. And so recently, one of my parents isn't doing that well um, health-wise or there's just a lot of lot of things up in the air. So sometimes it was hard. It was hard for me over the past few weeks or past few months to focus on myself because I just worry about, oh my God, like how could I just be like, doing this for myself when I have someone else who, you know, might not be okay. So, so th it was just a little, ch it's been a little challenging. I definitely got out of my, um, workout habits. I was going three to four times a week. And then as of late, the past two months, I probably have only worked out twice a week. Yeah. It's usually Saturdays and Sundays. I really beast it. And then Monday through Friday, I just haven't been. And that sounds so crazy, but weekends is just, you know, when I felt loose to be able to do stuff. I'm changing that though. This week, I'm going back to working out three to four times a week. Um, so make sure you're following me on Snapchat. I know I've probably said that a thousand times, but if you're not, um, I'm gonna start posting more workout stuff on Snapchat every morning. So yeah, it's just been a little bit of a tricky time these past few months. So I want to get back into it. I want to work out more and I'm excited actually this week to start working out more. Roxy says, what is an example of a full day of meals? Oh, that's a really good question, Roxy. So an example would be like, let's see, let me think about what I ate yesterday. So I woke up, I had a smoothie. 
I've gotten lazy with making my own smoothies. Like I've told you guys before, I live next to a Whole Foods, and so it's very easy for me to just get a smoothie in the morning and um, or lunch or like anytime I want. So that's usually what I do. I go and I start with a smoothie, and I will grab maybe some fruit there, like a little fruit bin, a muffin. It really depends on what I'm craving. I'm not super crazy about like, no, I'm not having carbs or I'm not having this. I'm the, basically just what I try to do each and every meal is eat as clean and naturally as I can and it's not always the most clean or natural but I just try to make sure that every meal that I'm eating it is the best option that I can do if you watched my what I eat in a day video I really love like granola and yogurt and things like that um, I like the coconut yogurt so yeah for lunch you guys again you're gonna laugh Alok hates it he laughs every time but I eat tuna basically every day for lunch I eat a tuna sandwich or I eat tuna just out of the bag um, with some celery with some you know carrots with some good vegetables sometimes I like to make my little pasta salad that I showed you in my what to eat in a day video and if I want a bag of chips with my tuna fish sandwich I'll, I'll take it you know I love my pickles so I love a big pickle with my sandwich and for dinner I typically will have a giant giant salad with either tuna left over like on the top or I'll do a little bit of chicken I don't mind eating chicken though I'm trying to go meatless like I said but yeah I'll just do a big salad with a bunch of stuff in it or I won't or I'll eat like you know some it's very hard for me to say because it's just I don't keep myself on the strictest diet like I said I just make sure whatever I'm eating I just have the healthiest meal possible so I like grilled cheese a lot I eat a lot of grilled cheese with pickles I know so fucking weird and then again throughout that day if I'm eating less um or my portions are smaller I'll still drink another smoothie I'll go get another smoothie. They're really cheap. So okay, so D Taryn asked, "Hey girl, do you eat only healthy food, or are you able to treat yourself and eat whatever you want?" So I definitely, definitely, definitely treat myself, you guys. I just bought ice cream last night. Okay, let me actually show you the ice creams. I'm not even kidding. You guys, legit. This is my ice cream. This is a Luke's ice cream. My boyfriend's ice cream. Do I treat myself? I treat myself more than anyone else. And I bought this last night. I ate it all last night it was like you know ice cream comes to here you guys that's all freaking gone did you see what i even got here i got a swirl custard with rainbow jimmies and m m's mm. oh i treat myself oh i treat because i deserve it doing with you crazy fucking gas all day we deserve this ice cream life has been fucking hard on us girls we deserve this what are you doing I just try to match it like if I eat you know get up in the morning a little earlier go for a nice walk you don't have to kill yourself you guys you know if you're not in if you're not a runner it's gonna be great for you to go out and just get a walk anyway so do a light jog do a light you know run and this is why tracking down everything is so freaking important you guys whether it's in like a notebook or you're doing it in my fitness pal you're doing it in some type of phone app Tracking your daily food, tracking your daily, you know, walking and your daily water intake. You guys, it makes the biggest difference. So I'll write down if I, you know, went ham in some ice cream and I need to work out in the morning. I'll match everything up. Oh, I think we have a video from a smelly face, 626. Has your relationship with a loke or with friends or with family members changed since losing weight? Ooh, that's a good one, Katie. No, I don't think, I don't think it, they... No, I don't think any of my relationships have really changed. If, if maybe for the better, I think my friends and family are just really proud of me. They're all really supportive of me. Let's see what Mweezy Baby has to say. Hey girl, what has been the hardest part of your weight loss journey thus far? Love you. Oh my gosh, love you girl, thank you! The hardest part is, of course, just when you don't feel motivated. And I'm sure you guys can totally relate on this because I think one of the most common things I see in just comments or questions people are leaving me regarding weight loss is like what to do when I don't feel freaking motivated, like, you know? And that probably has been the biggest challenge because, of course, there are times and there are weeks, you guys, where I don't feel like it, you know? I'm not like, I'm really not some amazing weight loss of robot like I'm just a human I'm just a girl trying to figure this shit out and so of course there's times where I don't feel like it I'm lazy and I'm tired and I guess that would be the biggest struggle is just breaking through those points of just feeling like I don't freaking want to today it's hard you guys it's hard to get past that point I'm sorry I have like a cat hair in my eye you just really gotta find the strength within yourself to say all right come on like snap out of this you gotta do it girl come on like this is for you like don't let all of these life stressors come in and now fuck with you and your health too, you know? You gotta block it out. I'm like, no, do not let me get sidetracked. Do not let me get too stuck in my own ways and, and stuck in just my, you know, 
I don't know, anxiety filled life. Like, let me just do this. Like, just put everything else aside and just do it. You just, you gotta have that will. You gotta find that will inside of you. You have it. You do. You just don't believe in yourself enough yet to know that it's there. And I truly think that. You just gotta feel it in your gut. You gotta do it. Um, so one thing, this is kind of silly, and it, but it's also fun, and I'm sure you guys are probably already playing. If you are someone who hates getting out and going for walks or runs and you're feeling totally unmotivated, totally suggest if you haven't already downloaded Catch to 5K, because again, it's a fantastic little running app that will train you to be a runner. You don't have to know anything about running before starting this. It trains you how to become a runner, and you only run for like a minute at a time. It's super duper easy. You guys, I'm telling you, you'll lose weight like this. You won't even know it. It's amazing. It's just something kind of fun and silly that you can do with your partner um pokemon or friends pokemon go has pretty much taken over what's going on someone just like almost someone just almost ran someone over in front of my apartment like if i had to be a witness to that shit i'd be pissed pokemon go has pretty much taken over mina Loke's lives it's insane we literally play for maybe two to three hours a day i'm not kidding um, and that's on like if you we both have to work that day like if we're off we will play the entire day But I'm telling you guys like Alok has the Fitbit his steps have been insane It's insane how much walking we do and how sore we feel when we get home We're like dang we were really working it tonight So that's really really fun I feel like that's a game that we're just out playing and I wasn't even putting it together about how it's really getting us outside and exercising and oh Lexi Thunder wants to know where I got my shirt this is from forever 21 I'm gonna pop on over to the gram <laughs> by the way if you don't follow me on Instagram you should hop on over follow your girl but I am proud of this okay look at that <laughs> Sorry for showing you my vagina like this. But Abish is proud, okay? Abish is proud. <laughs> okay, this one is by Ariana. How do you and your boyfriend stay motivated together? Oh, that's so funny. Kind of like I just said, Pokemon Go. Sarah Dom says, do you meal prep? How do you plan your grocery list and do you eat the same things every week or do you like new recipes? Basically, you guys, I'm a creature of habit. I am a terrible creature of habit. It's really hard for me to break outside of my comfort zone with food and try other food. I'm so basic, I'm such a brat. So <laughs> I typically like eat the same things all the freaking time. Um, just salads, spaghetti, tuna, tuna sandwiches, tuna hoagie, tuna wrap, chickpeas, pickles, every vegetable. I need to start meal planning. Oftentimes a Luke and I will eat two separate things. So like he'll get whatever food he wanted to eat because he's not, the problem we were having is when I was trying to lose weight and I was like, you know, cooking our meals and doing all of that and we were working out, he was losing too much weight and he lost um, a bit of weight and it, it really showed on him really quickly. He didn't lose that much, but it just was like, it was too much for his body type still, you know? And I was doing our meals because I was just having us eat the same thing, you know? I was having him eat extremely clean and, you know, he tried to go vegan and vegetarian and all that just because I thought it, you know, it's healthier for everybody. Um, so oftentimes we'll eat two different things. He'll get what he wants and I get what I want. But the big savior for me all the time is, like I said, I have a Whole Foods up the street. I can go there any night and just, you know how Whole Foods is. You can literally just go to the, oh, no GMO aisle. No, like whatever. And I can pick out something very natural and very whatever. Just better for you. I can pick out anything there and just take it home. So I do that literally probably four to five times a week. So I'm seeing a lot of questions are on about really toning losing fat, how to make your arms thinner. I want you guys to know that, and I didn't even mention this this whole video yet, I'm so silly, yoga is so freaking necessary. It is like the key. I think it's the, oh, uh, it is the foundation of everything. If you guys want to start your weight loss journey and you don't know where to start and you freaking hate working out, start with yoga. Again, if you haven't seen my original weight loss video or my workout routine video, you probably don't know this, but I am absolutely obsessed with um, yoga with Adrian. She's the best, best, best ever. She's actually like a real life yoga teacher and she's just so sweet and she's so calming and she's so smart. She really knows her stuff and she's taught me everything I know about yoga. Yoga, I'm telling you, yoga is, it was just everything for my arms, my back, um, working on, I'm still working on it, but like, you know, this yoga is all toning. It is all toning. It is amazing. It's toning. It's strengthening. And then there's a second little piece of equipment, you guys, that I've incorporated into my workout routine. And I've actually really been liking this. This is something you can actually do at home. I got it on Amazon. I believe it's called a glider or something like that. It's a rowing machine, though. I believe it was somewhere around $100. 
and you set it up when you get home and you just like, I love that because I bring it out before my housewives, you guys. Uh, before I watch Housewives, you know I love the Housewives. And I tell myself I cannot get up. I gotta stay on this thing throughout the whole episode of Housewives. I can take a break at commercials. But you'd be surprised. I just go there and I just watch and I'm just doing it and doing it. And by the time the episode is done, my body's burning. But I didn't realize that I just did an entire hour of, of that training. It's amazing. I really swear by that rowing machine. It's really, really great. So um, if you guys want to see that, I'll link it down below again. I just ordered one off Amazon. It was like the cheapest one I didn't get like a nice one or anything So I'm gonna ask how long before you started to see results? I always started diet and quit because I get discouraged. Well, um, let's see So I think I first started seeing results Definitely within the first month month and a half is when my friend Jen gave birth to her daughter Gianna or was pregnant with Gianna I remember we had like a baby shower and everyone was like oh my god You look so much skinnier and that was the first time anyone had told me that I had looked thinner So I'll put that picture up here this picture this time was the first time people really started Saying that I looked like I was losing weight. I feel like it's the week after you absolutely want to freaking give up and just end it and you're not seeing any difference. It's always that following week that you will see a difference. It's almost like a test. It's like a mentality test. It's a test of the mind to see if you're in this to win this. So just when you think you can't take it anymore and you're seeing no results and you're so over this, you've got to push yourself even harder. But your focus, I think, does not need to necessarily be diet 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 it needs to be workout also if I was only like just dieting and not working out also like not actually doing the work to lose it like no wonder you get discouraged you know that's not enough you got to do both I love this question Rosa said what do you do when you get a craving for something unhealthy I make and I haven't made this I made well no I made this about two weeks ago so that's a lie my chocolate covered strawberries or chocolate covered cherry smoothie I do have a smoothies recipe video you guys I'll link that down below I think I have a few I also have some detox tea videos I love doing things like that like detox teas teas smoothies just yummy drinks that truly are not gonna pack on that many calories or anything crazy um, but are yummy and enjoyable I want a treat I mean you guys saw my freaking ice cream that I showed you earlier like if I want a treat I'll still get it it just means that tomorrow I'm gonna have to work a little extra harder when I work out and I probably don't even have to but I just I'm such a little psycho and I just want to work off if I put on anything extra I also love going for like froyo frozen yogurt you know that's not bad and Ben and Jerry's now makes like amazing vegan ice creams I love that gelatini or gelato brand that they sell at like Target and stuff of um, just really natural gelato. It's so freaking good. Uh, sorbets. I get like a lot of sorbets. There's so many delicious things out there, you guys. You can find, you totally can find a delicious healthy snack if you want to. I also don't think, you know, a bowl of ice cream killed anybody. So I think you're, that's okay too. Okay, so my first Twitter question is from Lisa. She says, when you first started, did you do the couch to 5k every day? I would do the couch to 5k on the given days. Again, I think it's three or four days that you do it during the week. And then on my days off, I would do blogilates, which is like the Pilates to just work on my strength, work on my fitness, and also little things like I like to lift weights just when I'm watching TV and stuff. Okay, so Stacy asks, what was your favorite body part before you lost the weight? And what is it now? If it has changed, why is that? That is such a freaking good one, Stacy, because it totally changed. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. I used to be quite fond of my bosoms and since my weight loss you guys they have shrunk dramatically I think that they oh I hate them now I hate them now that would be the one thing I would say really changed and it used to be my favorite thing because I had pretty large breasticles and I was pretty you know it's a great gift from the heavens above like you know you got to be thankful when you're blessed with you know curves because you know everybody gets curves so I've been thinking about a breast augmentation not anywhere near in my future but just like eventually I'd like to I ideally like to have my first kid before I get a boob job but I don't know and I don't I don't hate them but I don't well uh I don't know I hate them <laughs> and Modus said how did you enjoy working out because I loathe working out it makes me sick I totally understand I know I know working out is not fun you guys but what is fun is just knowing that you're doing something and to take care of yourself like how often do you do something like f for yourself and not just like spoiling yourself like buying yourself something or something but like how often do you take the time to really take care of your 
body of your one vessel like you know we're not just we weren't made in a factory it's actually really amazing that we're on this planet and we were born out of our mother's vaginas okay we came out of our mother's vaginas it's like i didn't just rip my mom up when i was younger so i could just you know spend my life gaining weight that's not fair you just gotta do it i'm just saying i think i'm, I'm trying to say like i don't know if people realize how precious life is and how precious our bodies are you only get one we only have this one body and that's why we need to take care of it and it makes me feel pretty good to be out there working out honestly I know that sounds like cheesy but you feel good you feel really good about yourself there's just no reason why you guys can't do the same you know you got it sometimes you got to be your own lifesaver your own life raft and save yourself bitches save yourself not saying that losing weight's gonna make you any better or any like you know you can lose all the weight in the world and still be a shitty person so you want to make sure you're always a good person but I'm just saying like I know how like I know how being overweight can make you feel like like just like shit like just super crappy and I don't want that for you guys I don't want that for any one of you I don't want that for anybody that's a feeling that's no good it's very low to not feel good about yourself and so if I could just oh if I could just have you guys start tomorrow so you never have to feel that way again it would just be amazing so I just want you guys to just really take care of yourself and take this video this update maybe if you've fallen off of your weight loss journey or you've kind of fell in back out of your fitness ways and you kind of just needed like a little jump start again or you're looking for some motivation take this video as a sign right now girl that you're gonna do this or guy sorry i'm not trying to play favorites you can do it i freaking believe in you you can do it you can do it we still have some time before winter's coming <laughs> there's a book i actually want to tell you guys about really quickly that i absolutely love and, and though it's not pertaining to weight loss i think it's really important for you guys to read even if you're not trying to achieve weight loss if you're just looking for a new career to get through school or just to do a little bit of self-discovering or like whatever you have going on this book i absolutely loved this is called girl code it's by cara leva it's unlocking the secrets to success sanity and happiness for the female entrepreneur it is so full of inspiration you guys she is so inspirational literally you guys sometimes i feel like i cannot go on i feel so unmotivated and i go and watch her snapchat and she's just like so motivating i just want to go and live in her little life and bubble because she's just such a beautiful person so these here are her social medias if you want to check out her profiles she's so fantastic i love her and i really recommend this book like it's just all about just inspiration and just getting yourself together and doing your thing and it's just really great you can like make little notes in it like your biggest takeaway from this chapter it's just so cute it's such a good book i cannot recommend it to you guys enough so definitely check this out Whew, that was a lot of talking oh my gosh i feel like i don't even know if i answered all these questions anything that I missed or forgot please leave it in the comments down below and I will do a follow-up to part two if this is like if I totally like I'm just so paranoid I just like missed a ton of things you guys wanted to know and if you guys have any success stories of your own please share them in the comments down below I think they are just as inspiring and motivating for me as they are for my other viewers and comment readers here like thank you guys so much for watching today and just of course thank you for supporting me along my whole whole journey it has meant just the world to me and I just feel like um I just couldn't have done it without you guys you were the biggest supports like to have all of you guys just cheering me on the whole time it's just been amazing I feel like that's also a huge motivation the reason why I or another reason why I can't stop working out or I won't stop is because I also don't want to let you guys down I don't want to do all this work and then like waste it all away right so you guys really 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 motivate me I really have you to thank for that so thank you guys for all that you do as always I love you um I'll talk to you again soon bye